Hey there, my name is Melinda. I am a Sephora team member. Today I'm shooting from home, but usually I work at the Sephora studio and I get the opportunity to work with celebrities and makeup artists and all these really inspiring and really talented people. So today I'm gonna to show you all of my secrets for fuller looking lips. So the first thing you wanna do when you're going to overline your lips and you really want them to look plump and juicy and bigger than they actually are is to use a lip scrub. And I've been loving this one from Fenty Beauty by Rihanna. This is the Pro Kisser Lip Loving Scrub Stick. And it is literally a scrub in like what looks like a little lipstick stick, which I love because it's just so convenient. And all you do is twist it up and you can apply straight to your lips. And it has these little apricot seeds in it that act as natural scrubbers. And it just gently exfoliates your lip as you swipe back and forth. So it's like you're applying lipstick. It's very user friendly in my opinion. It smells amazing. It has incredible oils in it that help to nourish your lips as well. And this is just a really fantastic prep step to take before you're using any sort of high pigment lipstick or you're overlining or you're using matte or anything like that, this is gonna give you a perfect canvas. And once you have scrubs, you feel like you've gotten enough, you get that dead skin off, you can just take a little towel and you're gonna swipe it off. So just taking that off with a towel and once you finish up, you can feel your lips. They feel so much smoother, all the dead skin is gone, and it's just a perfect blank canvas for my next steps. Next up, I'm going to moisturize my lips. It's really important that you use something like this from Bite Beauty. It's the Agave Plus Intensive Vegan Lip Mask. And the reason I love this is because it is truly a lip mask. Think about putting a hydrating face mask on and how nice your skin feels afterwards. This does the same thing for your lips. And if your lips aren't exfoliated and hydrated prior to putting on lipstick, they're just gonna look shriveled up. I sometimes call them like elephant lips because they just look dry and shriveled. But using something like this, you can just squeeze out and put on your finger and rub it right in. It's going to put all the moisture back into your lips. It's gonna help plump them up this is clean at Sephora, so I love that too. I love putting this on at night before I go to sleep and I'll just sleep in it or leave it on for 15 or 20 minutes before I put on my lipstick and just have a little bit smoother and plumper lips. This is clean at Sephora. Basically clean at Sephora just means that it is formulated without some of those ingredients you might not want. So I throw it on my lips. If I have anything left, I can literally use it on my cuticles. I can use it on my elbows, anywhere that you're super dry. It works great, so little tip there. Okay, so I've let this sit on my lips for about 15 or 20 minutes, so I'm just gonna blot some off because if you have too much on your lips when you go in with your makeup products, I feel like it just kind of smudges it a bit and I wanna have a nice blank canvas. So I'm just gonna tap some of that off. The moisture is definitely set in. I can feel how much more moisturized my lips feel and I feel like I can even see them looking more plump. So now I'm all set to move into makeup. So next I would use a concealer. This one's from Hourglass and this is the Vanish Airbrush Concealer. I've been loving this concealer for under my eyes, throughout my face, everything I usually use a concealer for. However, I also love it to prep the outside of my lips. So I'm just gonna put a little bit on the back of my hand. You barely need any. I probably put too much. And then use a finger and pick some of that up. Clean fingers. And then I'm just going to basically tap that around the edges of my lip line because I'm gonna go in and overline and try and make my lips look a little bit bigger than they actually are, by neutralizing your natural lip line, you'll be able to create a more natural looking line with your lip liner. You won't have that darkness from your natural lip line and you can create a new one with your liner. It's makeup magic, people. It's makeup magic also makes the lines look even cleaner and really sharp, which I think is beautiful. And then you're set. 
And now for the fun part, we're gonna be using the Makeup Forever Artist Color Pencil, and this is actually for your eyes, lips, and brows, which I find incredible because I'm always on the go and I like to just throw one thing into my bag. So I'm gonna be using the shade Wherever Walnut because I guess walnuts can be wherever. Okay, so step one is you're gonna take your liner and you're basically going to create an X at your cupid's bow. So you wanna start by defining the tips of your cupid's bow and then working your way down to make an X formation. I don't like to overline the center of my cupid's bow too much because I feel that that can be a dead giveaway that you're overlining. Step two, I'm going to create a dark line down the center of my bottom lip and then I'm gonna create two separate lines on either side in an outward shape. Those are basically gonna create a plumping effect and really make your lips come to life and look a little bit more juicy on the bottom. Step three, you'll start lining from the outward corners of your mouth inward. And this is where the overlining really starts. You can go as far as you want, it's personal preference. Like I said, I skew a little bit more on the natural side, but you'll see I'll pull it down, especially in the center of the bottom lip because your lip kind of curves downwards and it creates a shadow under your lip. You can get away with a little bit more overlining on the bottom lip so you really get like that plump effect. So don't forget your top lip. You're gonna wanna overline there as well, obviously. So starting from the outer corner of your lip on top, just work your way in. You've already defined your cupid's bow, so you're just going to take the line and meet where you left off that first line you created. I am a little bit more conservative on top just because I don't feel like I have the benefit of the shadow like you do on the bottom line to kind of keep it more discreet. Finally, step four. Now you're just gonna take your pencil and lightly fill in the entire lip around the the areas that you already created those shapes for a plumping effect. Quick tip, don't press too hard while you're filling in the full lip because you don't want to cover up the work you've done. That depth of those lines you've created is going to play a part in creating a plumping effect and that's basically going to help give you a more consistent color, make the lines that you've created less obvious, and also make your lipstick last a lot longer throughout the day. So now for the most exciting part, this is my lipstick I'll be using. It's brand new from Fenty Beauty by Rihanna and it's the Slip Shine Sheer Shiny Lipstick. I'm gonna be using the shade Retro Rose. Slip Shine Sheer Shiny Lipstick. Slip Shine Sheer Shiny Lipstick. Slip Shine Sheer Shiny Lipstick. I just thought this would look really nice with the liner I chose. It's a beautiful rosy nude. I'm just gonna swipe this on. Make sure you're covering the entirety of where you've lined. I have been loving this lipstick because I just love the formula. It's super moisturizing. I feel like if you're gonna be wearing a liner and a matte liner underneath all day, this will keep your lips really soft and plump looking because it has such a beautiful sheen to it. It also doesn't cover up all of the work that you've done. So those lines that you've created to make definition in the right places to make your lips look bigger, you would cover up all of that work if you use a super opaque lipstick. Make sure to cover up all of your lip everywhere that you lined because you don't want the outer perimeter to look matte and the rest of your lip inside to look shiny. It's kind of a dead giveaway as well because you can really see where the liner ends and where the lipstick starts. Thanks so much for watching. Leave me a lipstick emoji in the comments below if you're going to try out or if you already have tried out the Fenty Beauty Slip Shine Sheer Shiny Lipstick. I would love to hear your thoughts. I've been obsessed. Can't wait to try some of the other shades. There are 10 of them. So let me know and I'll see you next time. Bye.